Hello, my name is Murray. I'm from Overton, and I'm here for the London Dada Adventure Camp. Alright, here we go. This is the, the 2011 AFL Water Football at Kaku. We're out there on the first game of the season. It's Tuesday the 18th of October 2011, we're at the Kaku community where we're holding the camp. The camp is the Nunundurra Lands Adventure Camp. Uh, we've got 16 children, uh, all high school or upper primary school age, from the Nunundurra Lands. The camp is uh, multi-purposed. Um, First of all, we're trying to encourage the children the value of education and to go to school and, uh, and that school can be a fun place. Uh, what we hope to achieve, again, is, is uh, a lot of things. Um, firstly, we want to challenge the kids and take them outside their comfort zone. Uh, we want to build uh, some leadership qualities within, within the children. and we want to teach them also to some, some teamwork aspects of it. Okay, and you've got to find your way. What if you come in here? <laughs> We're going along? Which way are we going to turn here? Tell each other what there is. Yeah, you're going to follow the rope. You're going to keep holding on to the rope. You might get up here and there's a rope going this way and a rope going that way. So what have you got to do? You're going to have to... Speak up. Speak up, okay, and decide if you're going to go left. Sorry, left. <laughs> The reason why we're here is because there's been some scientists working here. Typically this government department has run out of funding and have had to leave these projects behind. They were working on a group and rescuing some endangered reptiles. What they've done is they've left them behind in a chest. Now, with you guys here, you can give us a hand to recover the keys that might then release the endangered reptiles. My name is Ernest Bennett. I live in Nia, Carco Langa, and I have a Muranga. Muranga, I have a Muranga. 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 I have a Nineteen. 1992 <laughs>
few days. Yeah, right, Al? Yeah. Okay. Mm. So we have to show some respect, not only to country and to elders, but to each other, to our environment. like this yeah. and put your thumb to you and put your right hand in the back and you can just roll down. We've had four great days. I think we've achieved a lot in those four days. The kids and ourselves have been pushed. Uh, we've had some uh, weather extremes. Uh, we've had rain, we've had hot weather, we've had wind. But uh, it's been thoroughly enjoyable, I think, for everyone concerned. Uh, I think the kids have achieved great. We've had lots of different exercises and wonderful people to work with the kids. We've challenged the kids mentally, physically. Uh, we've challenged them in teams and personally. And today we finished off with some abseiling where they've had to have great courage to get through the day's exercise. 
Yeah, the kids have kids have coped away from the community very well. They've adapted to the circumstances. That, uh, they've worked with us and uh, they've been very cooperative. They've participated in all the, the clean-ups and, and just helping around the camp generally. It's been great. The camp's been a great achievement for the Nunundara Drug Action Group and we'd like to thank them also for some funding that's gone towards it. From the activities, the kids have been able to understand and achieve things that, uh, and personal development has been high. That, uh, we've given them hopefully some new skills to make better choices, uh, healthy choices in life and healthy choices in everything they do. Hey,